Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The shortcuts section appears in the bottom section of the navigation bar at the left side of the company file window. You can click the links here to open the related window or task form. This gives you one-click access to the features and tools you use most often in Sage 50. To customize the shortcuts, click the Customize button, which looks like a small gear, to the right of the shortcuts label in the navigation bar. You then customize the shortcuts using the Customize Shortcuts window that opens. The current shortcuts appear in the Selected Shortcuts list. To add a shortcut to the end of the Selected Shortcuts list, click the Add a Shortcut button to show a side menu of general categories, like Customers and Sales, for example. Roll your mouse pointer over the general category related to the shortcut you want to add. Another side menu of shortcuts appears. You can click any shortcut listed here to add it to the selected shortcuts list. If needed, you can also roll over commands followed by the right pointing arrow here to show even more shortcuts from which you can then select. To rearrange the shortcuts, click a shortcut to move within the selected shortcuts list. Then click either the Move Up or Move Down button to the right as many times as you need to place it into the desired position. To rename a selected shortcut, click the Rename button. Then type a new shortcut name and press the Enter key on your keyboard to set the new name. To delete a selected shortcut, click the Delete button. To add a space to the end of the Selected Shortcuts list, click the Add a Space button. To reset the shortcuts back to their defaults, click the Reset Defaults button and then click the Yes button in the confirmation window that appears. To save your changes to the shortcuts, click the OK button at the bottom of the Customize Shortcuts window. To cancel the changes instead, click the Cancel button. Then click the No button in the confirmation dialog box that appears to discard your changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.